Hey people, welcome back to my channel. I have a guest today. I have a guest on my channel, you guys. No need for long introduction. But if it's your first time here, welcome. You chose a very exciting and interesting video to pick as the first one here. So please do all to make sure you hit the subscribe button before the end of this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the family. You guys, I am still in Dallas, Texas. As you can tell, I originally live in Saskatoon. Um, Canada for those of you who are new here I'm visiting Dallas because of my girl here um, we laid mommy to rest her mom my mom well my bonus mom but her mom um, I had to be here to offer some support and I'm still here and in a very shocking twist of events my friend decided that she wanted us to record a video together so here we are I feel like it's a little too late for the friendship tag because that that trend don't rain past for YouTube so we're just going to be answering questions about our friendship about our friendship our relationship and what the journey has been like so I got some questions off the internet because of how spontaneous this was I didn't have enough time to ask you guys to ask us specific questions so I'm just gonna go over um, what I have on the internet okay um, so in a bit I'm going to turn it over to this young lady over here mm -hmm. on the day that we're recording this is actually her birthday and most likely the day you guys are going to be seeing it is going to be my birthday I feel like I just answered <laughs> one of the questions but I'll turn it over to her in a bit for her to introduce herself talk about what she does and we can take it from there go ahead and see um, hi everyone my name is Waila Shalom and I am a chef um the name of my business is wireless exquisite kitchen i live in louisville texas and um yeah i make nigerian food for the nigerian community um here in um, texas the overall best to do it you guys <laughs> like she's the baddest to ever do it so if you're around yeah. dallas mm -hmm. around louisville this is your plug when it comes to all things nigerian yes. food like i've added weights in the couple of days i've been here because <laughs> i've been so stuffed with nigerian food so this is your plug i'll put her instagram handle Yay. on the screen for you guys to go check out her page and, and, <laughs> and suffer the torture that i've been suffering <laughs> before i came here okay first question mm -hmm. when did we first meet you want to answer or should I? We can both answer. Okay. Primary two. Yeah. We were in primary two. Like yeah. that would be the equivalent of like a grade two or like yes. a grade one here. No, grade two. Grade two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've been friends since grade two. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about the story of how we became friends? Um, she remembers perfectly. <laughs> um, I remember just a little bit. Yes. You know? It was her birthday. Her mother brought candy. <laughs> and shared for us in class i can never forget is those kind of candies that have like two of each in like a big pack mm -hmm. but she wanted one particular kind she wanted the two of that candy but unfortunately for me i was the kid who got <laughs> given randomly yes. the other candy that she wanted you guys best believe that this birthday girl went around the <laughs> class checked everybody's candy to check who had the second one she wanted she collected it from me it was fight that this relationship mm -hmm. started with <laughs> so that. from fight we now mm -hmm. became friends and we just stuck together since then yeah funny how i remember that story i know I keep telling everybody every time <laughs> i'll tell our children too okay so what is one word you can use to describe me so talk about what you can use to describe me and talk about what can you to describe you very intelligent Oof, she's brainy <laughs> okay one word i used to describe you i would say that word is resilient like your strength that's something that i that i aspire for like i've seen you glide over things that will break other people so mm. your resilience is one thing that i've always girl. used to describe Thank you, you. Appreciate. so what's one thing that annoys you the most about me you guys let's put a disclaimer before we answer this <laughs> I feel like there are stray bullets coming, but let's put a disclaimer. We don't live in the same country. This is the first time that both of us are in the same space for the first time in 10, ten years. years yeah. 10 years. So there are some of these questions we might not have very updated answers for mm. because we're not in the same space. Yeah. That being said, go ahead. What annoys you the most about me? Um, she's always busy. When I want to talk to her sometimes, she's not available. And, and, that's, and that's annoying. I do understand that she's a very busy person. She, I call her my celebrity friend. I know she's very popular and very busy. And, but but I get, you know, I get always a bit jealous time about that. You. Of course you oh, do. You call me when it's already too late. Oh, yeah, sorry. I will change. <laughs> I promise. In front of everybody, I'm making the commitment I will change. Yeah. What's the thing that annoys me the most about you? 
If this question was asked two weeks ago, I would have struggled to find something to say. <laughs> but now that I've been here for five days in the same space with this witch, mm. she is very impatient when it comes to looking for things. Mm. And you guys, when this girl does not find what she's looking for, all of us collect. <laughs> all of us will hear it. Like, there's always a lot of tension. Mm. She does not manage tension and pressure very no, well. Like, she really. snaps. She just yeah. snaps at everybody mm. and... For the love of God, all of us avoid that. If she's looking for khaki, mm. the khaki is here. Oh. She mm. cannot find it. She will just start complaining and just whining <laughs> around everybody. It's almost like we should push her outside. Outside <laughs> being 112 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature as of the time right of now. making this video, yeah. you guys. We are burning. So if you can hear the AC sound at the back, please, that's the only way we can make this video. Yeah. We have to stay alive to mm -hmm. do this video. <laughs> so yes, that's what I don't like about you. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think I'm going to change anytime soon. Oh, thank God I'm going home. Yeah. You continue. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time we fought? We don't fight. No. We don't fight. I can't remember the last time we fought, really. Mm -hmm. We're grown women. What's that? Yeah. What are we fighting over? Mm -hmm. uh, what's, the, what's your favorite memory from the early days of our friendship? Huh. She was my um, backup. <laughs> For all your shenanigans. <laughs> Let's don't go Back up liar. <laughs> <laughs> Why you go and do all those waka that you yeah. cannot explain? Yeah. That's how was in Marina's house. That's it. Sometimes Marina. it's in the heat of the matter. I used to know that she was in my house. <laughs> oh man, those are our days. I feel like yeah. my my um the fondest memories I have from the early days are where those are our new I was gonna say that. <laughs> Oh, wash it. Yes, wash it. Wash it. <laughs> <laughs> All the times we used to get into trouble. Yeah. I, I'm very surprised they didn't even beat us one of those days. New Benin market boys. You. We used to go and buy mm. um, jeans on Tuesday when they open bail in Benin. Benin. Yeah. They will be fighting with market boys <laughs> when they talk to you. They say, hey, fine guy, come here, we sort them. <laughs> How we didn't get beaten is yeah. beyond me. Yeah. But yeah, I would say those are my fondest memories. Same those here. Those things. What is my name on your phone? Like, what's, how did you save my name on your phone? Uh, so I saved her name just the same way it is. I saved her, I saved her name as Marina E.M. Etek Canada. Hi! <laughs> Jesus. My heart is broken. I'm sorry. Can you get more official than that? Like, there's Marina E.M. Etek. You have Marina E.M. Etek in Nigeria? Maybe. Hell. Do I just put Canada there? I'm sorry, but that's it. Well, your name is saved as Olembe, yeah, and always. that's the next question. Like, what are our nicknames mm, for each other? Okay. So the one I have for Marina is uh, <laughs> Ten Cobo <of> Marina. <laughs> and you know that thing. Was, <laughs> that thing was from a was from an advert that was on TV when we were growing up. I remember it for some reason. The end of the advert was like, "Thanks, Mom, for Barbina." For those yes. of we just dated ourselves, yeah. by the way. <laughs> For those of you who grew up in, mm. in Bendel, in mm. that area, in like the 80s, early 90s, you remember that advert. Thanks, yes. mom, for Babina. Mm -hmm. This bomb has changed it to Tanko, but Marina. <laughs> and that's how I became Tanko, but yes. her. So that's her nickname mm. for me. Yeah. My nickname for her is Olembe. Mm. Olembe is like a Cameroonian footballer. Yes. At a stage in our lives, this babe used to walk like Olembe. <laughs> she looks like him. So that's how she oh, earned herself God. the nickname Olembe. Yeah, I, had, I have Kelego. People don't know. Kelego yeah, is so knock knees. I used to knock knees. So I used to I bounce when I walk. So, yes, yeah. is that bouncing? Olembe used to bounce like yes. that on the field. So that's yes. how she earned herself mm -hmm. that name, Olembe. Um, how close am I to your family? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm here. I'm the second daughter in the family. Very, very close. Just very, so very, you know. very, very close. Just like, so you know, yeah. I'm the second daughter in the family, mm -hmm. and our mothers became friends because mm -hmm. of us. So yeah. I'm, I'm almost sure that that answers that question. Yeah. What is one thing your friend has done for you that you will never forget, good or bad? Um, she has always been there, but I think I told her this story a few days ago. She didn't remember it. But I'm gonna repeat it right now. Um, I was in Nigeria in Benicity, and she was in Abuja. She, she she already started working then. I think I just graduated graduated from university then, but I don't I can't remember the specifics. But the thing I remember was that I wasn't working then, so I, I, maybe she felt that I needed some money, and she just brought some money out and counted it and said, 
Hey, 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 hey. This is for you. And I'll keep this one. This one is for me. It was kind of... Um, I, it, it, it was so sweet. It was surprising. I wasn't expecting her to do that. But she did. Deep down inside, I felt maybe she knew I needed it at a particular time. She's very thoughtful. And she's loving. I'm not saying it because she's here. But... But that's what she is. I can count on her. She's very reliable. Yeah. That's yeah. so sweet. I'm not going to cry. It's our <laughs> fine makeup. We <Don't> cry. <laughs> we pay better money. <laughs> uh, what's one thing that you have done that I won't forget? Mm. Like there are so many times. Yeah. Like it's just how available you are. Yeah. Like we don't talk all the time, but I know that if I get on the phone to say hey. I need to talk to you. She will make up time. Yep. Like it's just how available she is. How, how we bounce off ideas yeah. off each other. Like when I'm struggling with something, I can talk to her about it. It's okay. This was happening with my kids. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What are you doing about it? Or have you experienced it? Like it's just how how available and how dependable we have grown to become for each other. Yeah. And then one fun memory that I really have that I don't know if I'll forget. I don't think you will remember it. Mm -hmm. It was the day after I lost my father. You were on your way back from church, you and mommy. And you know that church then, you would drive past my house as yeah. one route to get yeah. to your house. Mm -hmm. So they were coming back from church and saw so many cars outside of our house and they were wondering like, I was going on? Not typical, is there a party going on? I'm almost sure she came into the house to say, are you guys having a party and I didn't get invited? Yeah. So when she entered the house, she came in through the back door and then when she saw me, she was like, what's going on? So I told her that my father had passed away. And the way she broke down and cried in front of me, at first it was funny, like, ah, uh, now my papa died within the apple. <laughs> but just seeing how personally it, it hurt her that I was going through the pain of losing a dad. Like, I don't know if I can ever forget that. Like, it was almost like it was not my father that died. It was like it was her parent that died. And that's the kind of relationship we have where our parents, her parents became my parents. And you guys, technically after that, after my father passed away, her father literally stepped into the position of father for me. Yeah. Like, for all the advice, for all the times, like whatever advice he was giving her, he was giving me. In fact, there were times where he was scolding her and the fact that I was there, I collected three bullets. <laughs> That used to happen a lot, a whole lot. Like when she got in trouble and I was in the house, I got scolded as well, which is typical of a Nigerian yeah. household. So that that just taking on my pain as hers is something that has been very consistent in this relationship. If I'm in pain, she's in pain. If she's in pain, I'm in pain. Guys, that's why I'm here. Like our mom passed away and I could not bear to let her deal with all of that alone. And that's how I got on a plane and hopped and I'm here. And I'm so glad that I could be here. here that I can continue to be there for you. And just grateful to God that we have mm -hmm. the the means and the ability to be able to get on a plane and say, my friend needs me, I'm going to be there. So, of course, of course. so that's one memory I won't forget. Mm -hmm. One other question. Mm -hmm. This one is not here, but I okay. thought about it. I was right. going to ask you. Go like, how do you manage other friendships? For me, I'm not very big on titles. But if I was going to put a title on everything, this is my absolute best friend. Like, she's the friend that has been in my life the longest. Like, we have the most memories together, mm -hmm. you know. So this is my best friend. Safe to say that. But how do you manage your other relationship with other friends? Do you feel betrayed when you see me go on holiday with other people? No, really. Okay, what's the truth? <laughs> not really, so. <laughs> no, not really, because I know that my position cannot be taken. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's okay for you to have other friends. It's a good thing for you. It's, it's really healthy exactly. for you to have other friends. Exactly. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't feel betrayed at all. Okay. But how I manage my friendship, I don't have friends because. I don't see. I don't see Wala. I don't see. Don't show me, baby. <laughs> so, I know that feeling. Yeah. So I know that feeling. I try to just keep it professional, you know. But I still have some people that I consider friends, close enough, close yeah. enough to call friends. You understand? But when it comes to my personal life and everything, I'm smiling now. For me, um, it's not it's not being in the position that I'm in where it's like a lot of people know me. It's a bit of a different dynamic with yes. me. And the fact that we live in different countries makes this a bit harder. Yeah. Because there are some things that I need, for instance. Okay, so say for instance, I'm out of town right now. I needed somebody to go to my house to do something. Mm -hmm. It's not you I can call. No, no, of course so, not. So I'm building that support system where it's like, you're not just my friend because we're in the same city. Mm -hmm. You're my friend because we share similar
similar values and the kind of friends friendships that i'm building is the kind where if you ever come to saskatoon which you will very soon of by course, the way of course. when you come to saskatoon mm -hmm. you are going to be able to blend with the other friends that i already I've made. did you already did already you saw how did. easy and how seamless easy, yes. i was on the phone with my friend in saskatoon i put her on the phone and it became a three-way gist like That's all of it. us could gist no holds bad everything mm -hmm. was smooth and seamless yeah. very organic very, so very. i tilt towards the same kind of people of friendship should not be it's not it's friendship it's not yeah. courtism it's not. we do not do blood covenant <laughs> 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 where it's like i swear never mm -hmm. to be friends with another nah, person it's no, not that deep no, you know it's not that deep, it's no. not that deep. And, and we have different seasons in our lives mm -hmm. where you meet different people like we went to different universities yes. in that university i made friends in her university she mm -hmm. made friends yes, but when we all came together we all could relate because there were common denominators yes. in all of the relationships yes. so People say that female friendships are difficult to navigate. Women were they are always jealous and envious mm -hmm. of each other. And the question I always ask is, who are the people you guys exactly. are hanging out with? Like, who are you dealing with? I can't relate. Honestly, I can't. Like, I would say yeah. I've been blessed with really good friends. I've been blessed with friends who I don't feel like I have to shrink for them to feel good. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I have to pretend to be what I'm not because yeah. I'm trying to work on eggshells or. And if I have a friend who can relate to my other friends, to me, unconsciously, it just becomes a red flag. Like, yeah, of course. It becomes a red flag. I, what do you think? Yeah, that's exactly what, how, um, how I feel because I don't think it's it, it should be that way at all. Like I said, Where you have to healthy. choose. Like, you have to yeah. pick one friend no, over. Why no. can't it be all yeah, of us, you know? Exactly. Yeah. There are people like that, Marina. Yes, I know like them. That, I've yes. met them. So this is from a personal place. Yeah, just saying, course. how do you do yeah, that? Like, how yeah. do you navigate those relationships? Okay, so if we are we done with that question? Yeah, that's of course. No, 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 that? no, no. That's okay. everything. Okay, so what, what, what's that favorite thing that you want to do with me that we haven't done yet? I feel like I know the answer to this one. Travel. Exactly. That was going to be my answer too. That's like I cannot right wait for us to that's begin right to travel there. together. Like I'm, I'm almost wait. there. I'm almost there, Marina. Trust me. Yeah, we're going to do yeah, a lot of traveling it. together soon, yeah. and I cannot wait to share all of that with you guys. <laughs> Are we moms? Yes, we uh, skip that part. Yes. yes uh, yeah. So both of us are the same age. We are ten days apart. Yes, like yeah. I said, it, ten days. Lord, ten ten good good days. Ten days yes. while I calm down. Oh, <laughs> so the day we're recording this is actually her birthday. Yeah. We're taking some pictures. That's why we look all glam. And then we're going out to go and have some fun mm -hmm. before I'm heading out back to Canada, which I'm sad about. But yeah, yeah I'll sorry. come back. Don't worry. Or oh, you will come visit. I'll come visit. And guys funny in a very funny twist of fate our daughters are actually <laughs> nine days apart what? yes she's 10 days older than i am her daughter is nine days older than my daughter so yeah. it seems like this is going to be a multi-generational friendship going is. on for sure. yeah sometimes we put them on the phone mm -hmm. and two of them just yes. some other times they're like ah, i don't want to talk right now mm -hmm. like very typical yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> anyway guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video yeah. wait wait can you spill any secrets i'm sure these people want to know dirty secrets about me and what it was like growing up with me it's only good things. Then I'll get up to any mischief too. That's a good girl. Yeah, yeah, she was good though. And actually, the, when she told me one bad thing she did in the best, I was very shocked. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm not going to fit <laughs> When the camera off, you remind yes, me. So I, I don't remember. You. See, yeah. I didn't do many yeah, bad things. That's yeah, why I can't no, remember. Yeah, I no, 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 no. But I did. But <laughs> <laughs> I was up to it. I feel like I remember it. Because the bad things I did in my life are yeah, few. Yeah. So I remember that one yeah, I told you. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to meet my twinny, my yes. other sister, my overall best in friendship. Yeah. Today's her birthday. At the day we're recording it, and the day you guys see it, it will be my birthday. Mm -hmm. So you can say happy birthday to Happy birthday to us. Okay? I love you, baby girl. I love you too, babe. I can't wait to come back. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. If you liked it, please share so that other people can see it as well. Thank you very much you guys for all of your good wishes yeah. when i put it out there that i lost somebody who's like my bonus mom like the oh, the prayers the well wishes were very overwhelming we have received thank it you. and we thank you guys so much um we're still in the healing process we're still in the we're still hurting yeah. it's going very, to take a much. while but mm -hmm. i mean we have each other so yes, you're do. not going to do it alone no, okay never. thank you again guys for watching this video and until mm -hmm. i come your way in the next video it's your girl marina saying thank you and have an awesome day thank bye you. guys bye, -bye. bye.